Welcome to this series of tips on web services. We'll discuss different tips related to RESTful web services, SOAP web services and microservices as well. All the tips we would look at are on our GitHub repository in 28 minutes tips database. You have a wide range of tips in here. In this video, let's discuss the importance of defining organizational standards for your RESTful web services. One of the important standards I really like is Yaras. So if you go to github.com slash darin slash Yaras, the link is on the screen right now. Yaras stands for yet another RESTful API standard. What does this do? It defines a standard for RESTful services. It defines how you would name your resources, what would be the request structure be like? What would be the response structure be like? How do you do things like filtering, sorting, paging, etc.? And also, how do you do things like versioning and things like that? One of the important things about RESTful Web Services is the fact that there are a lot of complex things that you would need to address before you would start designing them. So you would want to decide how you would want to do paging, sorting, filtering. How do you want to do your... API documentation, what format should you use? Should you use Swagger? Should you use REST docs? What kind of versioning should you use? Should you use a request parameter versioning? Or would you want to use a URI versioning? Or you'd want to use some header-based versioning? And in an organization, you don't want different teams producing resources have, having different approaches to each of these. You don't want one team to adapt one approach for versioning and another team adapting another version, for another approach for versioning. So it's very important that as an organization, you have a clear defined standard as to how you are approaching your RESTful services. For me, Yaras provides a great start. One of the organizations I've recently worked with started with Yaras at the base and we have customized this to meet our specific needs. We have customized how we want the response body to look. We have customized how we wanted to do versioning and things like that to the specific needs of the organization. But Yara has provided really a good base. I mean, it kind of covers most of the topics that are important from the perspective of RESTful Web Services. So you're sure you're not missing any important decision. So we kind of took this as the base and ensured that we looked at everything and we decided on what would be the good thing to do from the perspective of our organization. I would recommend you to spend some time with the IRS and look at what is present in there. In this quick tip, we looked at why it is important to define your own organization standards for RESTful web services. Do not forget to check out our tips database for more tips on a wide range of topics. Until I see you in another In 28 Minutes video, Here's bye from the team here at In28Minutes.